Hello you guys, how are we doing all today? Hopefully all doing well. Today is in video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV stick by using ADB Fire Tool. Over the version of ADB Fire Tool we're going to use is a 1.31 which is the latest one and we're going to use it on Windows PC. But ADB Fire Tool is also available on Mac iOS and also the Linux as well so you do not need to worry about it you can do it on them as well so first thing first what you need to do actually for the for, for the for the whole thing to work to make sure everything is perfect you need to make sure the Amazon Fire TV and the PC where you are going to use the ADB control is also connected on the same network so that is the main important thing the second thing you need to know remember that you need to scroll down to the settings into the settings so you need to scroll down to the system into the system you need to go to about okay in the about you need to go to the network and you need to record the IP address which you can see right there which is 192.168.0.11 it could be different in your case so just need to make sure you enter the IP which is on your Amazon Fire TV stick or a box once you do that go back to the system again and scroll down to the developer option while in this developer option you need to open this one and you need to make sure ADB debugging is turned on and also app from unknown sources are also turned on too because the Amazon Fire because the Kodi which we are going to download on it that is from the unknown source actually okay press ok on it press yes okay there you go once it's done we will go back to our PC and download the Kodi and also the fire starter on our on our Amazon Fire TV stick wirelessly okay then we'll come back on it to configure it fully all right so we are back on our computer so what's what we're gonna do now actually we need to open our internet browser and these are the three things which we need we need to download three things actually on our computer first before we need to download the Kodi and Firestarter onto our Amazon Fire TV stick. So first thing first you need to go into this, you need to open this URL which will be available into the video description to download the ADB Fire tool. The URL which you need to go is www.jocala.com. Once you are on it, you can download the ADB Fire tool for three uh, different operating systems. Like you can download it for Windows, you can also download it for the OS X, OS X and also for the Linux as well so we are running on the Windows so what we're gonna do we're gonna download it for Windows which is the latest version which has just been released which is version 1.31 let's open up once you start the download okay just begin download you press the download you gotta wait for a little while here obviously it's got a little bit of while it doesn't matter meanwhile it's downloading it what it's doing actually is finding the mirrors and all these things there you go all here you press here once you press them, the download will start rest right, bottom right, right and bottom left and corner. There you go, it's just started. Let it finish this download. Let's go into the Kodi website, which is www.kodi.tv. Open up this one, press the download button right there. Once you are in it, what you need to do is you need to scroll down and we need to find the appropriate uh, appropriate pr program for our device. So we are using on Amazon Fire TV, which is Android and it's an arm, it's an arm controller so we're gonna go click this arm okay once you're in it obviously this is started also downloading as well okay let it download this one as well let them all download together then you need to go to this website which is a third one for downloading the fire starter uh, the third download you need to do is a fire starter for that you need to go into this URL okay the URL will be available into the video description much easier to access it and everything once you open this one scroll down scroll down in the bottom right down here it says download the latest fire uh, fire uh, download the latest Firestarter APK file to side load into with ADB let's open this one okay and that's the APK which you need to download open this one up and that will also start download download will be much quicker now all these downloads which you down did now okay wait let's so let's show all the downloads what you can do actually now put them all into the one place let's suppose on the desktop folder so I download the Firestarter 
download the Kodi 15.1 and also ADB Fire Tool version 1.31 as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them all onto the desktop now. I put the Amazon Fire TV apps into one folder right here. Okay, as you can see that the I've got the Fire TV starter version, latest one which I downloaded, and also the Kodi right here as well, which is on the desktop, and the ADB Fire Tool, which is version 1.3, which was the zip file, I unzipped it and put it on the desktop. So what we're going to do now, open up the ADB Fire Tool software, open up this one as well. This, this is the program, which is ADB Fire. Right click on it and, and go to the run as an administrator. That is always good. And one more thing you need to make sure that guys that do not create any shortcut outside of this folder of this ADB fire tool it might not work okay and now in terms of the communication wise you need to make sure that Amazon fire TV stick or a box has to be on the same network as this computer running with ADB fire tool so now the first thing what you need to do just before we start here so you need to connect this ADB fire tool with your Amazon fire TV stick so for that you need the IP address which we know about it so what we're gonna do actually we're gonna go to the new okay and we need to add the d detail of a uh, detail of our connection actually collection itself because it's very important to recognize your connection so I'm gonna use like uh, because this t Fire TV stick is in my living room, so I want to remember that it's a Fire TV living room. All right, and the IP address now, which was 192.168.0.11. I'm gonna put this IP address in it. Okay, don't need to touch anything else on it, guys. Simple as that. What we're going to do, we're gonna install the Kodi actually. So you always select this Kodi. You can also do it for the XBMC, SPMC, TVMC, or other. Okay, once you've done this all, make sure you put this information in it. Press save. Here we go. Once you're connected, straight away you will be connected to your device if your everything is okay. If you're not connected with the device, what will happen right here where it says the status? you will get offline actually if you're not connected to it like here adb fire adb debugging is running at the moment and we are ready to run ready to download the stuff into our uh, fire tv stick to download an apk file which we already downloaded you need to click here install apk file so you press here okay now you need to locate the uh, Amazon Fire TV application which we downloaded we put it on the desktop which is right here actually so what we're gonna do actually we're going to go to the desktop and scroll down Amazon Fire TV you can select any of these application doesn't matter what sequence you are in let's open this first one and open up here yes I would like to download it press here you can see the scroll bar right here once it's installed downloaded and installed it will pop up right here it's installed there you go it's installed we downloaded the uh, file starter. Now let's install the Kodi. So let's go again in there and lo locate the Kodi 15.2, 15.1. Open up again. Press yes, yes. I would like to download it. Once it's downloaded, it will take a little while because it's a bigger file. Once it's downloaded, the pop-up will arrive on it, and that will be it, guys. There you go, it's all done now. As you can see that this video has received the proper install. Press OK. Now, once everything is done on this computer, you don't need to do anything after that, guys. So simple as that. You need to stop ADB debugging for sure, okay? Let's just stop it. Job is done right here. You can close this program and everything it will sorted. So let's get back to our Amazon Fire TV stick and we'll uh, carry on things from there then. All right, we're back onto our Amazon Fire TV stick and we have already installed now Kodi and Fire TV Starter. So Fire Starter. So what we're going to do now is first we're going to launch our Fire Starter and uh, we're going to configure it with the home button actually. So by using our remote control home button, if I click it once, I would like to launch the Kodi. If I click it twice, I would like to launch this Amazon Fire TV home screen. So for that, what we're going to do, actually, I'm going to go scroll down to the settings. Into the settings, I will scroll down to the application and scroll down to the manage and install application. 
once you're running on it you need to go into the fire starter open up the fire starter and launch it okay this is how it's going to look like the fire launch in starter so what you need to do we need to go in this area where you see this application by using your remote control you go scroll down to the settings into the setting you need to scroll down okay where it says the home button single click now we need to press the home button single click what you wanted to do with it i would like to with the home button single click i would like to launch the kodi so scroll down yep i would like to launch the kodi and with the home button double click i would like to launch the fire starter fire tv home screen so which is that one top okay once you select we need to exit from here by pressing the one double time home button on your remote control there you go we are out everything is sorted into now we would like to launch our Kodi by pressing the one time home button on our Amazon Fire TV remote so let's press it once there we go the Kodi is launched first time straight away guys as you can see that fresh Kodi is waiting for us right here now this is our done now we managed to install the Kodi by using ADB Fire tool straightforward everything set up now it's ready to install any new wizards which we would like to install on the top of it so that will be it guys thank you very much for watching this video and in this tutorial i've successfully shown you how you can use adb tool to download the kodi and fire starter into your fire tv stick sort of side load the fire tv stick okay guys so thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.